Hey, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to learn about identity and access management and tips for identity and access management. In a cloud-focused architecture, identity provides the basis for a large percentage of security assurances. It's challenging or impossible to write concise firewall rules when you don't control the network where these services are hosted and different cloud resources spin up and down dynamically and cloud customers may share common infrastructure and employees and users expect to be able to access data and services from anywhere. To enable all these capabilities, you must first manage access based on identity authentication and authorization controls in the cloud services to protect data and resources and to decide which requests should be permitted. Some of the tips for identity and access management include single enterprise directory, synchronize identity systems, use cloud provider identity source for third parties, passwordless or multi-factor authentication for administrators, block legacy authentication, don't synchronize on-premises admin accounts to cloud identity providers, and using modern password protection offerings and cross-platform credential management. Let's explore how to use a single enterprise directory. A single authoritative source for identity increases clarity and consistency for all roles in IT and security. This reduces security risk from human errors and automation failures resulting from complexity. By having a single authoritative source, teams that need to make changes to the directory can do so in one place and have confidence that their change will take effect anywhere. For Azure, designate a single Azure Active Directory instance directory as authoritative source for corporate or organizational accounts. Second tip is to synchronize identity systems. Consistency of identity across cloud and on-premises will reduce human errors and resulting security risk. Teams managing resource in both environments need a consistent authoritative source to achieve security assurances. The next step is to block legacy authentication. First is disabling insecure legacy protocols from internet-facing services. So legacy authentication models are among the top attack vectors for cloud hosted services. Second method is for Azure and other Azure AD accounts, configure conditional access to block legacy protocol. Another tip is to don't synchronize accounts with highest privileged access to an on-premises resources as you synchronize your enterprise identity systems with cloud directories. For Azure, don't synchronize accounts to Azure AD that have high privileges in your existing Active Directory. This is blocked by default in default Azure AD Connect configuration. So you only need to confirm you haven't customized this configuration. The next tip is to use modern password protection offerings. So provide a modern and effective protections for account that cannot go passwordless. And legacy identity providers mostly check to make sure passwords have a good mix of character types and minimum length but we have learned that these controls in practice led to password with less entropy that could be cracked easier. And the final tip is to use single identity provider for authenticating all platforms, including Windows, Linux, and others, and other cloud services. A single identity provider for all enterprise assets will simplify management and security, minimizing the risk of oversight or human mistakes. Deploying multiple identity solutions can result in unenforceable password policies, passwords not reset after a breach, proliferation of passwords, and former employees retaining passwords after termination. That concludes this lesson. In the next episode, we're going to learn about recommending a solution for MFA. I will see you on the next one. Until then, take care.